Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. Now before I get started, I want to make something perfectly clear. I hate religion. I dislike religion. I don't think that it has any place in society as we know it. Now, I cannot hate the people that are involved with religion. If I were to hate any people, it would have been the individuals who created the religion in the first place because it has been responsible for so many terrible things that have happened in the past, in the present, and that will happen in the future. Those individuals I hate. Now, this next topic that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a topic that really hit me kind of hard. Because in all actuality, the sad thing is, there's a lot of people out there like this couple. And it worries me because they obviously do not care about their families. They do not care about their loved ones. Because they would rather let a delusion rule their lives. They would rather let a delusion hurt their family members. They would rather let a delusion, you know, give them the guidelines to having a good life. And to me, that's a big mistake. You know, I've always had a problem with that in general. Now... The thing that pissed me off about this story is these two individuals knew what they were doing, yet they made a lot of excuses. And hopefully by the end of this video, a lot of you would understand why I hate religion so much. And I'm going to begin by telling you that there's this couple in Oklahoma who basically thought that their six-year-old son, I believe, was a demon. So they basically took it upon themselves to keep him in a locked room, only give him one meal a day. They gave him a bottle to shit and piss in. They hardly gave him anything to drink, and so on and so forth, all because they believed there was a demon inside of their son. And nobody seemed to stop these parents at that particular moment. Because they continue to abuse their son, they continue to use cattle prods on him in hopes that they would get the demon out of his body. They would continue to starve him. They would continue to do all of these horrible things to him. Because, like I said, they actually thought a demon was inside this young, innocent boy. You know, many people ask me, you know, Again, why do you hate religion so much? Well, it's because of these things. It's because of these things people are at their worst. Religion then puts them under this belief that what they are doing is completely justified in regards to treating this young boy the way that they are treating him. Religion gives them this false sense of security, you know. It makes them think that it's okay to treat this boy like this. It makes them think that it's okay to treat him like this because, according to their alleged God, he has a demon inside of him. And this demon needs to be out of his body as soon as possible. And to me, this is just one of the most disgusting acts I have ever heard about in my life, you know. Because a young kid, a young, innocent, six-year-old boy was a victim in this case of delusional rage, of greed, of selfishness, and that is pathetic. And not only is it pathetic, it is sad. This boy did not have to experience the things that he experienced. He did not deserve to be subjected to this kind of atrocity, but unfortunately, he was. It turns out that the cops made a visit to their house, and they busted this couple in action. And when they found the boy, like I said earlier in the video, they found a bottle that he used the bathroom in. And they found him with all kinds of bruises, cuts, and injuries, you know. So they basically took custody of the child, and they sent the two parents to jail. And rightfully so because they had no business subjecting to this kid to this kind of torture because of their alleged demon, you know. And it really makes me sick because these individuals love their alleged God so much that they are willing to do anything and everything to please Him. 
And it makes me wonder about humanity these days. It makes me wonder about these particular individuals because there are more than this couple out there. There's other couples out there that do the same exact thing. There's other individuals who are single that do the same exact thing because their minds are so polluted with trash. It isn't even funny. They obviously don't have any respect for life. They don't have any respect for their fellow human beings in any way, shape, or form. And their whole position makes me sick. Now, as far as this couple is concerned, I hope that they do get a lot of time. I hope that they get a lot of time and actually sit there and think about what they did with that young boy. I hope that they are to the point where they cannot live with themselves, for example, you know. And I'm not saying that they should commit suicide, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that at all. But I hope that their conscience eats at them. I hope that the images of this bruised up boy haunt their minds for a long time. Because it will be a lesson for them to learn. And they should have more than enough time now that they're in prison to actually think about what they did to this innocent boy. And to all you Christians out there, this is why I hate religion so much. Now, I know that you individuals will come up with any excuse you want. You know, you're taking things out of context. You're taking this out of context. You're taking that out of context. Bullshit. I dislike religion a lot. Because it promotes these ideas. It promotes that you should kill your young children for being unruly. It promotes the beating of young children for defying their mother and father. It promotes all of these nasty things. And you guys can say that I'm taking it out of context all you want, when in all actuality, that is not the case. It is in your Bible. Read it. And you will see where I'm coming from and why I'm so angry with your religion. And that's all I have to say about this particular subject. So please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to see your opinions on this particular topic. Please feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, the Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. And I will see you next video.